Hi guys, I'm Anita and I'm back with another video. Today it's time for my Monday reads where I talk about the books that I finished last week, what I'm currently reading and what my plans are for the next coming week. Last week was actually a pretty decent reading week, especially if we look at my audio reading. So let's get over the stats for last week. My uh, initial goal was to read 1,376 pages with an average of 197 pages per day. I ended up reading 1,241 pages with an average of 177 pages per day. So I was pretty close to the daily goal. And I ended up finishing all the four books that I wanted to finish. So that's definitely great. So let's start out by talking about the books that I did finish last week. The first book that I finished last week was Fool's Quest by Robin Hobb. This is uh, the second book in the Fits and the Fool trilogy. And it, the Fits and the Fool trilogy is the last trilogy set in the realm of the Elderlings. So I'm really close to finishing it now. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one. It was a great second book in the series. I feel like I um, there was a lot of things that happened, especially towards the end. It has quite a cliffhanger and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> that is my reaction to that. Um, but there are definitely some revelations in regards to the characters that I hadn't expected to see. I'm really excited about some of them and I am looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the last and final book. Um, but yeah, I ended up giving this book 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it and I'm dreading a little bit reading the last and final one. Both because there's chances that something horrible could happen to the main characters who knows they're getting a little bit old and secondly it is the last and final book in this series and i'm a little bit i'm i'm, I'm a little sad that it's gonna be over so yeah we'll see how it ends up going with the last and final one the next one i also finished was murder on lennox hill by victoria thompson this is book seven in the gaslight mystery series and this one where a lot of the books are usually uh, murder mysteries. This one was a different type of mystery where you were following, where Sarah was called out to check out this girl. The parents were worried that she might be pregnant, but um, this girl is, um, yeah, she's a really innocent sort of person where you, she, she can't see the fault in anyone. She can't see when people are doing anything wrong. She can, doesn't have that, um she thinks everyone are nice people no matter what they do um and the thing is that she is a little bit mentally disabled i think that's um maybe that's how you say it i'm not sure so she has someone around her all the time so her parents doesn't understand how she is pregnant how she became pregnant because since er there's someone around all the time to see her then who could it be who could be the father of the baby and is there possible um rape um involved and that is basically why why they are out in this case so yeah um this was a little different and i kind of liked it and i think that it was a good book where you got to know even more about um sarah and frank's their re friendship relationship thing they have together um they definitely seem to come closer to each other and more understanding of each other and i appreciated that i really enjoyed it and gave it four out of five stars the next one i finished was dash and Lily's book of theirs by rachel cohn and david levithan this i read solely because of the newts uh, it was a fast read i've had it on my audible for a while i can't return it i'm annoyed about that because i really like to return it now um yeah um i this is a contemporary romance that is set around christmas and it follows this these two people dash and lily it says in the title um uh, lily finds this notebook where there's this some scribbles in it and it turns out that it's dash notebook he's written down some things and they ended up sort of hiding it different places to for them to find and then they have to do a dare or something and i like the concept of it but i was really quite bored when i read it i never got into it um the characters were not very memorable and so i ended up giving it two and a half stars the last and final thing that i finished last week was uh the demolished man by alfred besser this is a tv unwrapping it is as sf masterworks as it also says on the front and it is also working for my nudes 
This is a book that was published back in the 50s, so it's like really old science fiction classic, I feel like now. Um, and it's about this man called Ben Breach, um, who wants to sort of murder his rival. But we are living, we are in this sort of futuristic setting where um, the police are able to hear your thoughts and what you're planning on doing in the future. So how is he going to get away with it? When, um, when you have the thought police. So it's definitely really interesting and it was built up in an interesting way. I feel like it could have been, it's going to be fun to try and reread it one time in the physical form because it has a lot of like pages that the format is quite different. Uh, this t type of text shows up all the time and this makes for a kind of fun and different experience. Um, I didn't experience it in that way because I was listening to the audio, which was definitely also pretty decent. Um, but I think it's going to be fun to read it one day uh, again and, and see the things as I go along. Um, yeah, so there's definitely some issues like with the way that he portrays women because like, it's from the 50s and men had a tendency to not really know <laughs> how to portray women correctly. And, like they were very focused on their um looks and how they the clothes they were wearing and stuff and not much about their intelligence what they could do and not sort of giving them any personality um but i still really enjoyed it because there was a lot of it was written in an interesting way and there was a lot of interesting concepts that i enjoyed following so i give it four out of five stars i definitely think that it I understand why it was such a popular book. So those were all of the things that I finished last week. Now let's get into the books that I'm carrying over to next week. First things first, uh, I haven't touched this book over the last week. It is Shape Changers by Jennifer Robertson. I sort of read some other things. I didn't really read very much. So the reverse psychology didn't work. <laughs> Just want to say that. But yeah, didn't touch this one. So I did make some progress in The Vader's Guy. Um, I am on page 300 out of 275, so yeah, um, I read something this morning though, I think I was on page 292 this morning, so I read like 8 pages, 9 pages. I am enjoying this one quite a bit for sure, I'm not enjoy enjoying it as much as The Calculating Stars, The Calculating Stars was uh, really really great in my opinion um this one is still really good there's still a lot of things that i really enjoy about it but i feel like there's something in regards to what is happening like um ilma is on the spaceship programs now and in um on a space travel to mars and it's like a three year long journey um so this one is quite different than the first one where it was like prepping prepping and getting involved in the space program in the first place and I feel like the pacing was a little bit different like it was a little faster paced even though it was still a pretty um, slow moving plot if you will um, this one still is good and there are and what we follow now is the communications between the, the crew on the ship and the co sort of complication that can arise in a situation where you have where, the dangers that can happen also um, when you're in space and you have to uh, like be in this environment, very small environment in over three years and you know if all hell breaks loose there's not much you can do. Um, so yeah it's definitely interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to end up something terrible happened <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm a little sad but I am um, hoping to finishing the finish this today because I only have like um, about 70 pages left so I could finish it tonight if I put my mind to it um, so I think I'm gonna try and do that. I also started on The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski and I read the first three four stories three stories so I'm page 39 out of 260 or 80 280 um, and it's like there's a pretty long 35 30 to 40 page long story then there's like a two to five page long story then there's another 30 to around 30 pages story and 
it seems like a lot of them are connected to each other because they call the same thing just part one part two part three um so i don't know how it's going to go but it's definitely working better for me now that i know it's a short circulation <laughs> um yeah so i'm hoping to make some progress on this over the next week but i have another priority that is more i'm going to be more focused on but if i have some time to pick something else up then i'll definitely try and get to this one I also started the audio of it and the rest is history by Jody Taylor. This is the seventh book in the St. Mary series, I think, or the eighth book. I'm a little uncertain right now. I think it's the eighth book, actually. I was two hours into it, normal speed, when uh, I finished this week. Um, so. And now I am over halfway today from today's listening, but so I had like 300 and something pages left of that book to read. I'm definitely planning on finishing it this week and I know I'm going to be probably finishing it tomorrow. Another book that I, the last and final book that I started last week was Masquerade by Terry Pratchett. I'm already really, really, really loving this. Um, this is so different from the Rinswood book that I just read. This one had some really, really awesome moments already. And I'm only 100, I'm 106 pages in and I love it so much. There's been a specific scene between uh, Death and Esme, Granny Red Wax, if you will. That was quite amazing. This is apparently supposed to be like, this world goes to the opera house and sort of talks about all the prejudices and all of the things that goes on in the opera world. And yeah, so far it's definitely very Terry Pratchett style, so I'm loving it. I definitely also plan on finishing this one. Um, I actually think I might finish this already on Thursday, so we'll see how that goes. The next book that I'm gonna be finishing, hopefully, is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I plan on starting this on Wednesday. It's about four hours long, so I think I could finish it over the, those two days. And I have really been looking forward to getting into this one. Um, I, th I have a feeling I'm gonna really enjoy it, so hopefully I will. I hope to st f start and finish um, Five O'Clock Tales on on Friday, um, maybe more that. It's only like an hour and a half or an hour or something like that. So I plan on finishing that on Friday. And that's 152 pages long. It's like a really short kids book, but it's also for my news. And then I'm going to be starting on Suspicious Minds um, after I finish Masquerade. So that will be the, the book that I will listen to at home. And I am, have put myself down to listen to the equivalent of around 150 pages. Yeah, and then I want to finish The Fated Sky, as I said. And then I have a plan on starting a book that I just received for review. And that is Crimson Eyes by Ellen McNeil. This is a new urban fantasy that she is releasing um, on the 30th of August. So I want to have this finished and up, a review up of it before... Uh, the release date on the 30th of August. So I hope I can finish it early next week so I can do that. Um, and so I have put myself down to read at least 60% 60 60 over this week. I have plans this weekend to go on a business, no, not a, on a business trip, but you know, um, our with work, we're gonna go on this um, trip. <laughs> together um, that's a yearly summer trip that we can all go to and that is next weekend from Saturday to Sunday so I don't think I'm going to be reading ex extremely much that day so those two days but we'll see if I'm going to be reading something on the bus but that depends a lot on what everyone else does so you have to be social <laughs> possibly um, so yeah, those are my plans for next week, and in total that means I need to read 1,522 pages with an average of 217 pages per day. And I also aim to finish five books. So yeah, I think that's going to be pretty decent, and I'll be making good progress on some things, and I'm going to be finishing some things. So yeah, I think it's all going to be good, and hopefully I'll finish more than I put myself down to, but I'm not putting my hopes too high. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you read over the past week. Is there anything you want to recommend to me? Also, let me know what you're planning on reading over the next week and uh, if you're doing well on your notes, if you're participating in that. I'll also always like to know that. So, yeah. 
If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Goodbye!